Hi folks, today we've left the fresh waters of the inland rivers behind and we've come down to the south coast for our first sea fishing trip of the season. On board with me today is Albert from Fishing Adventures with Albert. We've got Dave Harper, the head of the UKLF, and of course our very own still water specialist, Ryan's on board with us. Today the target species is taupe, which is a member of the shark family, and taupe or taupe shark are also known as school shark, snapper shark, and soup fin shark. But they can be lovingly known as Penny's dog. First of all, we'll head on out to jig for some mackerel, which we'll use for bait, and then all being well, we'll move on out to the taupe grounds. Of course, there are numerous other species that we could catch today. We could catch undulate ray, thornback ray, smooth hounds, and of course, the good old dogfish. The weather's just about right, the sea's nice and calm, so hopefully it's going to be a cracking day. What do you think, Al? I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, only caught some mackerel and rasp before, so there's loads of species on the list today, and um, hopefully we can catch a few, so yeah, it's going to be good. Excellent. Right, let the adventure begin. Okay, let's get get jigging for mackerel. Just let a line all the way down. Down, 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 down. It's already drifting well up. We're on the bottom. Oh yeah, I'm in. Or oh, was. Yeah, I'm in. Whee! I think we got a couple. Oh look, ah, oh, one's dropped off. Watch out. That's a good size as well. That'll get me plenty of flappers. Oh, I think we're in. Yeah, we're in again. Yes, come on. So it just feels like a machine gun when you've got them on the line. It vibrates like a machine gun. Oh, I think I am, yeah, I'm in. Just need some more. I think I've just got one. Oh, no, I've got two, three, four. Oh, I just lost one, one just came off. So there's the biggest one, one of the big ones I've had. There's a nice, nice mackerel. Where's my other big one? There it is. There's me other big one. Nice. You have to, when you grab them, you've got to be really firm because <laughs> you will lose a finger. There's no two ways about it, really. Yeah, yeah. they're proper sharp, they're proper razor sharp yeah. teeth. There's garfish, hundreds and hundreds of tiny little teeth. Yeah, wicked little fish. Looks like it's got some lice on the gills there. Great, what a wicked catch! Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I think there's a couple on here actually. No, just, yeah, two. Right, don't tangle me up, boys.
So we'll take out the quill from this squid. There you go, there's the squill gone. And then we'll turn this into a flapper. So what we'll do is we just put some lines down through here, like so. And then that flaps about nicely in the water. Yeah, I know. Eight pound, nine pound, or the magic, I don't know. Very smooth and got pucks in it. absolutely gutted as you've seen lost a, a big tope the skipper estimated it between 30 and 40 pound in weight which would have been my PB tope put up an absolutely cracking fight got it right to the boat it was quite nice and calm by the boat and then just as the skipper went to get it in the net it bolted and got all tangled up 
and that was the result. It ended up snapping my, my rod. I thought I was going to still be able to get it in because it was a bit tired, but unfortunately it snapped the line as well, which was 60 pound braid. But there we go, so that's the end of this rod and goodbye to my PB taupe. Hopefully we can get another one before the day's out. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Definitely pull in now. Still munching away. So, let's see if there's anything on there. Oh yeah, there's something on it. We're in. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Hopefully something Feels bigger than a dogfish. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel that big. I was pulling a bit more now. I don't know. Dogfish. Oh well. It's a fish. Here we go. There you go. Well, that was our first sea fishing trip of the season and there were certainly some highs and lows on that trip. Over 10 different species were caught throughout the day, so everybody had a cracking time. Sadly for me, no other big taupe showed up and of course, losing that decent sized one only makes me more hungry to get out there and catch an even bigger one. And of course, for us, that's what fishing is all about. So we're back out on the Jodan in a few weeks, so until then, tight lines and we'll see you on that boat.